Hi guys, um, this is an 80s makeup and outfit tutorial. I don't know if you could notice by my extremely wild crimped hair and my colorful eyes, but I was going to use a different pink outfit, but I went to uh, Forever 21 and picked up this little thing, Party Animal. So I figured I would go ahead and just use that outfit. Um, and it matched my eyeshadow perfectly. So if you're interested in how I got this look, um, stay tuned. Thanks. Okay, the first thing I did was um, I darkened my brows with this NYX eye eyebrow pencil with the little brushy at the end. I just got it at Ulta and thought it would be fun to try out. It was a little light, so I had to darken it um, just with my normal Wet n Wild um, eyebrow pencil just to get it a little bit dark. But it's good that it um, has a kind of a red tone to it because my wig that I'm going to use is kind of a light brown and red, and then my hair is red um, at the end of here too. So then I'm going to, because I want these colors to pop really well, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer and just put it on my lid. I don't really typically use a primer for my everyday, but because I really want these colors to stand out, it really does help for that. Oh, and notice the piece of tape I'm working with. Before you put anything on, make sure you put that piece of tape at the angle. I matched it when I did this one over on the side because you want your angles to be at the same degree. So, I'm just going to use this tart palette that my brother got me a couple years for, ago for Christmas. And I like it because it has the exact colors I need. I usually don't bust this out um, until fall anyway, so it's a good timing. And then I got reminded by the colors that I like. There's a lot of cool golds and um, khaki colors that I like. Um, so I'm just going to start with this iridescent white color and put it on the inside of my eye. Had a little bit of green stuck in the brush still, but that's okay. I'm just using this tart brush that came with the palette. It's actually a good little brush. And so I'm just white on the inside and then white up by your brow, your divine brow. Next is the pink, and you really pack the color on. And now the green color. And now the darkest blue, the navy. I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more pink. because it wasn't dark enough. But really, I wanted to mention, um, you should always work from the lightest color out to the darkest color. 
And these shadows are really powdery and um, tons of fallout. So I always just take like a little fan brush and try to fan it away as much as possible. And that usually does the trick. If not, you can always get like a little um, makeup remover towel and I just brush that down too. You're going to have to, you know, add your foundation and your blush afterwards after you do your eyes for this. But. So, just peel the tape. Get that sharp look. You can also see how discolored your skin has gotten. And just wipe away the fallout makeup. And I like that sharp edge look. So I'm also going to take um, just a little angle liner brush and put a little bit of purple just on the corners. and mascara. Okay, so I put my camera. Okay, so I put a little, um, I put my foundation on, and now I'm going to do the cheeks and lips and the rest of my face. So using the same palette, um, the multi palette, just the base section. I really wish I had these colors. Um, yeah, I don't know where they say the colors. They're probably long gone. I'm just going to use the pinkiest pink. The pinkiest pink. And then the middle bronzer color. So first bronze. I'm in the 80s, they're kind of wild with their color, so... The wilder the colors, the better. And now for the pink. 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 This might be crazy. Pinker than I would normally wear. But perfect for this look. They wore it real high up, so almost to their freaking temple. So that's what I'll do. There. For my lips, I'm going to use this really hot pink lip gloss. And I think it's going to be dark enough where I don't need to put a lipstick on underneath it. And I think 
I'm going to go and I'm going to put my wig on and then I'll show you the whole finished look for my 80s makeup. Okay, so I'm totally loving this wig. Um, it's just this 80s heavy metal wig that I got and easy to put on. It was amazing. And it would have taken me forever to get hair like that using this old crimper. And then I um, accessorized. I got these long earrings from Claire's. Of course, I got the jelly bracelets and the hand gloves. Yeah, that's my look. I'm loving it. So, thanks for watching.